Good afternoon again. Ray Deneen with another NBN News update. Another suicide bomber has struck in Iraq, this time claiming the lives of at least six people when he detonated his deadly cargo near a school and a police station in Fallujah. The deputy mayor of Baghdad has also been killed following a drive-by shooting in the Iraqi capital. Australia's worst serial killers, John Bunting and Robert Wagner, returned to an Adelaide court today to appeal against their sentences. Last month, both men were jailed for life without parole for their parts in South Australia's notorious Snowtown murders. The Urban Development Institute of Australia is opening a Northern Rivers office at Lennox Head. Representing all segments of urban development industries across Australia, the Institute says the new office will represent almost $400 million worth of developments planned or already underway in the Northern Rivers region. Now to sport, and Uruguay has had its first win in the Rugby World Cup, defeating Georgia 24 points to 12. And four Lismore martial artists are celebrating medal success at the Queensland Schools competition held on the Gold Coast. The Lismore team walked away with five medals. We'll have the details of those stories, all the news, on NBN tonight at 6. Good afternoon again. Ray Deneen with NBN Headline News. The driver of a utility was killed this morning when he ran into an RTA trailer at Pacific Highway Roadworks just south of Bulladila. An RTA employee managed to jump clear and suffered only minor injuries. There's been a large increase in complaints against police by their colleagues and the public. The Ombudsman says 800 complaints have been lodged by workmates and 6,000 by the public. The bushfire emergency continues in California with the death toll rising to at least 18. The east of the state awoke this morning to find a covering of dust after a large storm swept in from South Australia and the kangaroos had a narrow win in London, being England A 26-22. Detail. <laughs> Tonight on NBN's Wednesday, McLeod's Daughters, followed by all new CSI Miami and without a trace. Tonight on NBN. Good evening and welcome to the news from Ray Deneen. And good evening from Melinda Smith. Tonight, a sharp rise in the number of complaints from police about their fellow officers. 2,000 homes now destroyed in Southern California's bushfires. And referee Bill Harrigan calls it quits. Leading the news tonight, public anger at the government's tough enforcement of fines, with many people receiving notices for ones they've already paid. The Ombudsman has revealed that in the past year, complaints about fines have tripled. It's the annual report card from the state's watchdog, and not only are the number of complaints against government agencies up by 4%, they're more serious. Before the year 2006. And still to come in our news tonight, a ute driver killed on the Pacific Highway. And next it's back in the swing for Australia's leading amateur golfers. Sarah Bamford, NBN News. Hey, good on you, Billy. We wish you all the very best indeed. And that is the day in sport that dust thundered in from the heart of Australia. Is it going to continue or are we going to have some wet weather? Here's Gary. Well, thank you and good evening, everyone. A warm, dry and dusty one across New South Wales today as those dust storms developed in the west had even reached the east coast, reducing visibility down to about 200 metres through Coffs Harbour today. But while further west, it was down to about 100 metres visibility with some very gusty northwesterly winds and total fire bands. Temperatures have been uh, quite hot in the far western regions of the state, but a subtly change will cool things down slightly and should push all the dust further north across the border into Queensland. If we take a look at the satellite photo over the past 24 hours, 
promise. Not much cloud to speak of across the state, just developing throughout the afternoon in the wake of that southerly change. Most of the showers have been just on the far south coast, with Batemans Bay recording the state's highest rainfall today with 10 millimetres, but it's been quite dry any further north. A look at the chart for today. The main feature, this intense slow in the southern Tasman, brought the strong northwesterly winds and the extreme fire dangers and very warm temperatures today. 33 at Evans Head and Mwillumbar, the state's high, the low minus two in Threadbow. But the southerly change should reach the far north coast this evening if it's not already at your back door. If we take a look at the forecast tomorrow and high pressure developing through the eastern states, that means a fine Thursday. We can see the gap between the isobars increasing, so a stable pressure and a pretty good day in store. Uh, the low in the far south will bring further showers to Tasmania and an area of low pressure is deepening quite quickly in the far west and that looks like bringing some afternoon storms uh, throughout New South Wales on Friday. If we have a look at the chart for tomorrow, forecast wise, fine in Cairns, Brisbane, Sydney and also in Canberra. An early shower clearing Melbourne, Hobart going for showers and 15 degrees, a sh late shower in Adelaide. It'll be windy and warm for Alice Springs and fine across the top end, Perth fine and 19 degrees. Look at our temps today in 34 at the Gold Coast uh, was the high, 33 at Mwillumbar, 32 at Lismore and fairly gusty up around the Gold Coast today too, about 80 kilometres per hour those winds and that bring those very warm temps. Coffs Harbour 32 degrees and a stack of dust while Grafton 19 this morning and a high of 30. Through the northern tablelands, uh, temps did get down to around 16 at Inverell, still quite mild, 14 at Glen Innes, while Kempsey had 12 degrees this morning and a high of 29. The forecast now for the tablelands, fine, mild to warm, light to moderate westerly winds and a little bit of late patchy cloud developing. Now for the northern rivers, a fine and mild to warm day, light to moderate westerly winds and a partly cloudy afternoon. Also remaining dry for the mid-north coast, fine, mild to warm, still a high fire danger with light to moderate westerly winds and maybe a little bit of late scattered cloud, but a dry day expected. If we have a look at the coastal waters, southwesterlies tending southeast to northeast later and they'll start to ease back. The seas have down to a metre late afternoon and the swell from the northeast one and a half to two metres. The mid-north coast will see a southeast swell up to two metres. The seas also abating later. The winds up to 40 k's from the southwest, tending southeast to northeast in the afternoon. Now to our tides, a load you in tomorrow morning, nice and early, or 20 past six for Port Macquarie, and a 1.8 metre high tide just after midday. Look at the temperatures tomorrow and mid to high 20s for much of the districts. Overnight a little cooler down to around 5 degrees as conditions start to clear across the state. Now the uh, our look for the next three days. Friday should be relatively fine and warm with the chance of some late showers and thunderstorms. An early shower Saturday morning clearing but some fresh southwesterly winds will cool things down for your Sunday. So tomorrow team looks like the pick of the week weather wise. Windy and cool again for the weekend. Oh good on you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thanks, Thanks Gary. Good on you, Gary. I like you anyway. Good on you, mate. Well, coming up, a very different day at the office for two North Coast police officers. So it's no wonder everyone at Taronga is just bursting with lion pride. Oh. You've punned perfectly tonight. You have you won think? the cat's whiskers. There's oh, no doubt about that. Oh, well, you know, getting a bit clucky. I can tell you all these baby animal stories. You well, are. no, 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 we'll just put that to rest. That brings you right up to date with everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and more from all of us here. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Tonight on NBN's Wednesday, McLeod's Daughters, followed by all new CSI Miami and without a trace. Tonight on NBN. I can't live without my children. I can't live without my wife. A family man risking all to speak out. My name's Pete Chandler. I have a problem and it's credit cards. His credit addiction has run up $100,000 in debt. This is really, really starting to hurt. Hello again on this Wednesday night. We will have that story.